does toxicity exist in World of Warcraft, or is it something that players have just blown out of proportion? It's a good question. We're going to be diving into that today as we look at the forums and answer the question, is World of Warcraft really that toxic, or is it just an issue of misinterpretation between different parties and not really everybody being on the same page when it comes to goals? So before we get going, um, I've been playing MMORPGs for a long time now. Um, I started, if you really want to go back and get technical with it, I started with Shadows of Serbius and then went into EverQuest and EverQuest 2, Guild Wars 1, Guild Wars 2, blah, 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 blah. I've been playing games since the 80s and online as soon as I was able to go online and play online games. Um, I have seen the early days of the MMORPG industry when toxicity was an actual thing. And by that I mean kill stealing. I mean... Uh, progression blocking other characters and other guilds. Um, I'm talking being able to, you know, camp lock someone or to spawn lock them or to train them with mobs. Um, these are toxic behavior traits. Most of these toxicity issues, most of these issues which bred toxicity because of confrontation, most of these things have been weeded out through better game development. We've seen instancing. Instancing immediately got rid of the issues with people um, locking down progression for the sake of just blocking other guilds to progress. So we no longer needed to worry about other people being dicks and blocking us from doing the content. We could go do the content at our own pace whenever we wanted to with the friends that we wanted to because no one was in our way. So that hasn't been an issue for a very long time. I would argue 15 years or so since instancing, instancing came on the scene. It's probably more like 20 years if you really want to be technical about it. What about camp stealing? Well, camp stealing hasn't been a thing for the, about the same amount of time, like 20 years, because most games, especially World of Warcraft, utilize a system whereby anyone who tags the mob gets credit for the quest that that, that um, mob has a quest item for. So if you and I both have this quest and we both need goat tails and we both tag the goat that gets killed, then we both get credit. Now, of course, there's an issue of certain times, you know, maybe a low-level character is questioning in an area and a high-level player comes through and clears everything out before the low-level player has a chance to do anything about it because they're on a faction grind and the low-level character is leveling up. Is that actually toxic behavior? No. That's just one person going through and doing what they need to be do doing, and the other person doesn't play at that same level of speed and isn't at that same level of gameplay. In three minutes, 90 seconds, whatever the case is, the respawn will be back and that player will be able to get credit. So if they didn't manage to tag the mob in the process of all of that, they can still get credit if they just wait a couple of minutes. So that's no longer an issue either, the whole camp stealing. What about um, kill stealing? What's well, the same thing? Camp stealing, kill stealing, um, you know, those all tie into now ESO, you know, World of Warcraft, many games utilize the anyone who tags it gets quest credit. So that's no longer an issue. So we can't claim toxicity based on kill stealing and camp stealing. Um, raid progression, dungeon progression, that's out of the way. What about things like, um, just being a dick and, um, calling people names and, you know, insulting other people? That has happened since the dawn of time and it is not unique to video games. Bullying has existed forever going, I mean, grade school, junior high, high school, college, workplace, online space, trolls exist no matter where you go, and people are always, go there's always going to be bullies in the world. So that's an, that's an issue where if you can't handle, sometimes people aren't necessarily as nice to you as you want them to be, that's something that you'll just have to get used to and deal with if you want to be an adult in the real world that we live in. I've never, I have found more people to be assholes in real life than in video games. Part of that is just because I do, I've do i done a lot of business over the years and people get funny when it comes to money and businesses and I've seen people pull some really shitty stuff with lawyers and letters of intent and not wanting to pay you and trying to run off with money and closing bank accounts that they shouldn't and taking money out and you know doing all these things. Like That's truly toxic behavior. People saying something that you don't agree with in a video game Nah, come on now. That's really not that toxic. So when I read the forums, this is the perfect example of what I'm talking about here, about what most people think is toxic behavior. 
and it's just actually not. It's just someone had a misunderstanding somewhere, and as a result, they felt bad about it. So we're going to go through some forum posts here, which I think is uh, very interesting. So let's go ahead and go over here. Um, we've got these forums open up. There is a post on the forums from February of 2023. It's about a year old. Um, current toxicity in World of Warcraft. And this person says, Ever since Dra Dragonflight came out, the game feels better than Shadowlands, but the community has gotten much more toxic in a very short amount of time. Obviously, the social contract is working very well. What can we do as people to fix this? I don't see any option other than leaving the game at this point. Anyone who has respect for themselves as a human should not put up with things I see on a daily basis in all forms of WoW. Blizzard seems to wave their hands and change nothing in game to make it a less toxic environment. Such as, <laughs> so hang on, <laughs> I, uh, they're asking for these are the changes that they think would make it less toxic. Increase the drop rates, make Mythic Plus less toxic, and I'm gonna get back to that in a minute because I guarantee you the the issue that this person has running Mythic Plus is is a them problem, not a Mythic Plus problem. It says here, I feel like the responsibility of toxicity is being pushed on the player base, and Blizzard's part in toxicity is never acknowledged. Look at what Final Fantasy XIV has been able to build. It's not toxic-free, but definitely nothing close to what Blizzard has created. And that gets refuted in this post by other people. It says, my love for the game is gone. Every group is always toxic. My guil Most guilds are toxic. It's a full-time job to find people to play with. I'd play a single-player experience WoW all day long. It is a single-player experience, bro. Have you not played Modern World of Warcraft? This is a year ago, so I feel like this person is your average. The game is toxic when it's really not. Uh, due to the community, I think I've beaten it to the bloody pulp. Incoming wave of toxic players saying you problem um, is because you you suck. So this player is automatically reacting and loading their post with cherry picked phrasing, and immediately point, points out that the mythic plus is the most toxic place. And incoming wave of toxic players saying any problem you have is because you suck at the game. So this person, I guarantee you, I would put. A thousand dollars down that this person has been told in multiple mythic groups that they need to get good that they're just not good enough that they're too slow that dps sucks they're not a good enough healer they're not enough good enough tank and they've probably done a ton of pickup groups because notice here they talk about how it's all everyone else's problem this person has not identified one flaw in themselves they've pointed to all the other people as the reason for the game's flaws they blame drop rates as causing toxic behavior, they play. They blame Mythic Plus for being toxic, um, and they blame people telling you to get good as being so. So this person literally has a problem with playing at the higher levels of gameplay, and they specifically say that if World of Warcraft was a single-player experience, they would play it all day long and dump money into it every year. And I'm going to come out and say right now that you, sir, have never actually played World of Warcraft. If you had, you would realize that the game is a single-player RPG. Take your blinders off and actually play the game. It is a 95% single player RPG with like 5% group based activities, meaning dungeons and raids. The vast majority of everything you do in the game questing, transmogging, festivals it's all single player content meant to be done from a single player perspective. Jump quickly into a LFD, LFR if you need to for a specific dungeon or specific raid, but those are like, it's less than 5% of the total content that is produced for this game. Pet battles, all these different things you could be doing in the game. It very much is a single player RPG. So this person has identified a bunch of things that they consider to be toxic. And yet none of those things are actually toxic. This person has just had a bad relationship with people. And this is where I'm going to come back to something I've said in the past. Nine times out of ten, I have found that the toxicity exists not within the community, but because of either a simple misunderstanding or because the person who claims that the toxicity exists is actually the toxic person who can't get along well with others. I am 44 years old. I have been playing MMORPGs for a very long time. We've established that fact. I have never, ever quit a game because of toxic player bases i have never ever truly encountered gross toxic behavior in 20 years the last time i could say that someone actually did something super toxic was in discord when someone spammed our discord with corn images before we put a moderator on that was toxic um barring that the last time i had a toxic encounter was everquest 125 years ago when a wizard 
did a kill steal on us. And then when we were in the uh, Shadows of Lucan expansion, having a guild completely block our guild from regressing to get the shards we needed for the keys to Sra. Um, and they permacamped everything so that no other guild could get to the server. Or a guild choosing to wake the sleeper when it's supposed to be a gentleman's agreement between all these guilds. That kind of stuff hasn't existed for 25 years in live games. So you can't use those as examples of toxicity. So this person's complaints are purely related to them not being able to get along with other people. And it has nothing to do with the game being bad. Um, this person has a great comment. said, last time, I don't remember the last time I saw anything toxic. But nice Final Fantasy XIV ad posting. Um, edit not because some people won't get the meaning of what I'm saying. I'm not saying toxicity doesn't exist, neither am I, but I do think that some people look for it to complain about, absolutely, and that is not as common as people want us to believe. It's not toxicity in gaming is not that common, and it's really not a big issue in World of Warcraft. It's a big issue for a very tiny percentage of people who make a lot of noise about it because they like to be those kind of people who are just constantly rah, 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 Q, 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 sympathy. Um, it says, Final Fantasy XIV is absolutely toxic. Tell them you skipped a cutscene or you ignored the story and you'll get descended upon. Um, someone said they experienced that earlier this week. Um, every aspect of WoW is PvP now. Oh my god, this is another disillusion persona. Oh, every per they say every, per every aspect of WoW is PvP now. Only basic dungeons feel not so. Joining groups, you compete for slots for raid mythics, complete, competing your score, you're competing your experience, competing your gear. WoW is not a relaxing game. You're constantly fighting others, even in team play, and fault forcing you to do content you don't want to do to continue optimal gearing. This is purely PvP, and they're complaining that the competitive nature in the game, the competitive nature of PvP, leads to toxicity. No, it does not. PvP can have some toxic behavior within it but as a general rule people who play pvp love p i'm, I'm a completely anti pvp -er, and i've been very open and transparent about the fact that i don't like pvp because i don't like to be confrontational when i play games i accept that the flaw is not with pvp the flaw is with me I don't like that type of gameplay. Therefore, I don't subject myself to that type of gameplay. If I were to subject subject myself to PvP gameplay, knowing that I dislike it up front, I would probably also feel, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this, because I'm doing something that I don't really like to do. Why would you do that? If you're not having fun doing it, don't do it. Quick commercial break, everyone, to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time. Really appreciate the support. All you got to do is join as a member. You get access to private videos. You can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see. And beyond that, don't forget we're multi-streaming over on Twitch now, so you can support over there as well. Thanks so much to everybody. Let's get back to the video at hand. Um, in the gaming sphere, Final Fantasy XIV is widely accepted as less toxic than some others, but still has toxicity. Um, hearsay, but odds are this guy would also find toxicity there as well and everywhere in other games. If everywhere they go stinks, it might be they're the stinky one. Oh, and by the way, on the cutscene part, try not skipping cutscenes in Lost Ark and you'll see what toxicity is. <laughs> oh... It says, Sander, Final Fantasy players aren't screeching at the top of their lungs because you had to AFK to take a bio break. Um, so this is a funny one because this is another person complaining that the looking for dungeon or the look, you know, the mythic groups that they do as pickup groups are always wanting to go, 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 go. Well, here's the thing. If you join a looking for dungeon group or you join a mythical group and you didn't take a bio before and you call bio in the middle of a dungeon run, that's on you. Like if everyone's like, dude, come on, like... If we're going to do this and it's 30 minutes, pee before you go. We took a bio break at the beginning, but once we're started, we're going all the way to the end. No one's getting up to take a pee until we're done. Like, if it goes beyond 45 minutes, sure, we'll stop and, you know, take a break. But don't complain when other people, you know, this is the one thing I, I see a common theme of is people who want everyone else to play at the behest of them, but they aren't paying all these other people's subscriptions. So it's a it's a me first world, and if someone isn't finding people to satisfy the me first needs immediately, they blame everyone else for the game being bad when really it's a them problem because they're just not compatible with group based gameplay or playing nice with others. Um, oops, I completely moved something wrong out of the way. Did we did we get back? I think we got it back. Sorry guys, I clicked the wrong thing and moved it. <laughs> um. So there's a lot of great commentary if you want to read here. Most people are saying that the issue is with the player, 
not with the game. Um, and, you know, I'd say that when you come back to the end of the day, I have yet to find, and I would love for people in the commentary below to give me some examples. Um, I have yet to find an actual example of toxicity in World of Warcraft. What I do find is a lot of people who complain about the pacing of the pickup groups or looking for raids or the mythical runs when you're doing things as a pickup group. The moment you get into a good guild, all of the issues with other people go away. And you see that person ranting about how they never found a good guild, all guilds sucks, but that's a, that's a person who has issues. That person has personal issues. And I feel like a lot of the people I've seen who complain about games being toxic are the same people who rant about how the, you know, guilds suck. I don't like the competitive nature of this. I don't like this. I don't like the way gear drops work. They force me to need to worry about a gear schedule, gear eye level score. No one's forcing you to do anything. World of Warcraft is one of the best games in the world at letting you play how you want. There are literally dozens of ways that you could choose to play this game. If you're choosing to compete at Mythic Plus levels and you're choosing to put yourself into that meat grinder, you lose the right to complain about people wanting you to be good. Because if that's the issue, if you're just not good enough and you're getting called out on being good enough and you view that as toxic behavior because they aren't um, catering to you, it's a you problem, not a game problem. Food for thought. So if you actually have legitimate toxic stuff that you could prove in World of Warcraft that only happens in World of Warcraft and doesn't happen in other games, put those down in the comments below. I'd love to have a genuine conversation. Otherwise, I'm going to say it's a you problem, not a game problem. Love to hear your thoughts. Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. You want to join us? We're on the Moonguard server, non-sweaty. We don't do mythical. We only do normal mode. Raids on Saturday nights at 8 p.m. Central. I do a lot of different games, play a lot of different things, review movies, and beyond. So, daily streams here and on Twitch. There's a Patreon. I publish fantasy and science fiction novels as well. See everybody next time. Links down below.